final race of the year is about to go and we are looking forward to this. Uh, it's a restart because poor old Peter Baker's high-sided himself and uh, I'm getting free ride in an ambulance but hopefully it's just a little knock to his head. Anyway, into the straight, we've got a good start there. There's Nicky Wilson in front of us. Um, what can I say is the bike, I've, got, I've worked it out. I had um, I just dropped a couple of PSI out of the front tyre and the back was feeling a bit low which was taking weight off the front and not and taking me away a bit of confidence and turning and uh, when I checked my um, settings it was somehow I'd adjusted it and it was 3 mil too low so I put that back in, bike feels good I just needed to have a bit of confidence really um, and because I had not had a great setting with the bike for this round I hadn't got my confidence and uh, it just cost me ultimately. Um, in this race, in the first, is the track is split into two sectors. Um, so obviously the first half of the track and the second half. On the first half, <clears throat> I was third fastest and I was two hundredths off Josh Wainwright, who's the um, championship, cha well, he's, he won the championship, not just championship leader, he's won the championship now. So I had the pace, and this is Nicky Wilson in front of us, he got into the 47s, and I'm able to stick with him, and then just as we're coming up here, I'm good through here, you know, up behind him, okay, he's got held up a bit there, but from this section here to probably about here, I'm losing, look, see, he pulled away just there, <coughs> uh, and that's the sort of my race, basically, just losing out there, <coughs> but um, I really enjoyed the weekend. You know, up and down, wasn't it, with the weather and um, race results, or I had a really a dodgy tyre in race two, unfortunately. So to finish in this weather conditions, in the dry, the bike feeling mega, I had good settings in it, um, was really, really positive and really nice way to end the season. Um, and it's such a great race. Look, we're, we're here with these guys, and we like this is a bit of a tight move. Chuck it underneath there, get through here trying to go with these guys in front of me now uh, <laughs> poor old Freddy every time I see him on video someone's lifting him up like that James Ball did it to him in the first round and um, I think he did it into the second race as well um, and Freddy had a great weekend good work by him so we want to... Nicky's pulled so much space on me there just down the start finish straight <clears throat> and I think I know the problem if you look when I'm coming out of a lot of corners oh, here we go so I get past Freddy there's our good mate Jack Croucher on his carbon fibre bodywork ZX10R. He had a wicked weekend. He said PB. He really got the magnets into me. We had a nice little chat and a bit of banter afterwards. But you can see I'm doing well. I've, you know, I've pulled a nice little gap on him here. This is going to be the left of Surtees, and I'm going to a bit of drive here and I pull away from him again. And then I'm probably on the brakes a bit too much here. And this luckily won't sit too much, I seem to hold him, um, but actually, is he coming back to me a bit? Yeah, I think he's coming back to me a bit there. Um, that's the section where I just get killed by everyone. The guy behind him is James Ball on his 675 MV Augusta, and um, I'm going to be battling with these guys to the end of the race. Shortened race, 10 laps, was meant to be 14, um, and uh, this is it, we're going to um, battle them. And it's just the same as what I was saying. I'm loo I'm all right in the first half, pretty quick actually. Look, I pulled quite a, a good bit of space there. Uh, good drive, good line through that corner. I'm going to get another bit of good drive here, and then I'm going to lose everything. It's probably, <coughs> excuse me, it is about half a second just in this one on that one corner, and um, later on I'm going to flip back to the front view, and uh, I'll give you some very exciting chat about the electronics on the bike and uh, where they have hindered us I think or not um, but uh, really sadly for us we don't know what circuits we're going to be going to next year uh, one of the other clubs has folded closed their doors so we're not 100% certain what we'll do next year uh, we'll wait and see so again we're going to just talk about these next few comments the same it's a short circuit it's a short lap isn't it um, we got into 48 sixes my pb is 48 four so we weren't doing too badly especially considering the hindrance we had was when i set my pb everything was going well so i've got a good gap on jack now you know he is 
quite far back there and actually I've got so I'm looking at I'm trying to look at the footage ahead to work out what's happening in this um, Jack's riding really well he's getting into his PB's um, he's got that perfect placement of me just ahead of him enough so that I can drag him along through some of the um, sections of track I think we're going to see now he's he's got right on my back and now he's got confidence going with him he's definitely thinking about making a pass and he also knows where he's strong so he knows losing time to me here is not an issue because he's going to destroy me basically through the next right hander and uh, he's closing the quick bit of concentrating on the brakes normally anyway but here look at this now there's next he's not doing anything and then look at this like where is that drive coming from and then fortunately when we straighten up then the power of the Ducati just holds me ahead but just demolished me on that corner exit and so now what he needs to do he needs to stick with me but at, or he needs to be close to me at that point of this track so that he can get past me but he knows what he's got to do now he's got laps in the hand so he can have like a couple of attempts at it and uh, you just it's such a brilliant place to be in where he is where you've got someone just ahead of you and you know you're quicker in one section you just have to stay with them so you can get that opportunity and here he is he's probably definitely closer to me than he's ever been in that section he's gonna close me up on the brakes and now he knows he's got to wait get on the throttle so he's starting to drive I've got my throttle pinned and look he just destroys me there and there's nothing I can do I'm using the maximum power of the bike and it's driving well and then he's got nice braking position got to come underneath me and then we got James Bull on the MV uh, to contend with now and um, we just want to hold on the uh, places I've gone a bit tight because I'm having a look at uh, Jack uh, Croucher and um, that's allowed James to close up me he's going to do a, a pretty good lunge underneath me so there's Jack That's the, we're having a little look underneath him he's closed the door it's compromised my line James is going to come underneath us here but fortunately for me his lunge is a bit too tight and we cut back and now we want to get up, back up to Jack, we want to get past him and I'm going to show you through this next corner where my problem is. See the yellow light on the top right hand corner of the dash? Watch it, touch the throttle and it's on. And now it's on for the whole way through this corner and most of the stretch of third gear it's on, fourth gear, fifth gear, 140 miles an hour, 40, 50, 150 miles an hour that light's on until. I'm not sure if that's the traction control or the slide control. I think it's the slide control. I at Spa with slide control on the lowest setting, the back of the bike was a bit too loose through the fast flowing stuff, and we were losing time. Put it up one setting, and it just kept the back end in check, which actually helped us. But it's a fast flowing circuit, Spa, so you just want to keep the bike a bit more uh, in line, perhaps. And here, where this particular corner, see, I'm getting right up to Jack through there. That's on good this particular corner you need the bike to be moving that's how it works the bike drifts through there and this electronics is destroying me just you can't get any quicker right um, the electronics are just holding the bike back that's why everyone's destroying me um, is that the end yeah that's the end so something to work on for next season play around the electronics and see if there's any way to adjust them further